Police arrested a couple for kidnapping and sex assault in Waikiki after they befriended a tourist. Tonight, experts have a warning for anyone thinking about traveling alone. Jen Boniza has more on our top story. Jen? Joe, sources say that the assault happened in a Waikiki hotel room yesterday afternoon. I'm told the couple met the woman earlier that day. Sources say the single female tourist was held against her will and sexually assaulted after befriending the couple at the beach. Sources tell me they made plans for that evening, but stopped by the couple's hotel room first. That's when the victim was attacked. They're very uh, trusting in Japan. You know, you can leave your bicycle. It's so safe there. So when they come here, I think they think it's more paradise. Scott Suzui hosts a show called Ultimate Japan and has worked as a travel guide. Do you think that there was any hesitation from this single woman feeling, oh, they're from Japan too, you know, make friends? They all probably would think nothing. It's totally safe. I feel so sorry for her. You know, especially she probably left her parents saying, bye, I'm going to Hawaii, have a nice time. Russell Ikeda is the vice president of the Hawaii Hotel Visitor Industry Security Association. He says visitors often do become targets because they stand out, and single travelers can be more vulnerable. When people travel, they seem to put their guard down, and they feel like, oh, I'm in paradise, you know, nothing will happen here. But, like, again, you really have to be careful and, and not be so trusting. More and more women are traveling alone. Here are some important safety tips every solo traveler should remember. Ikeda says always pay attention to your surroundings. Avoid dark, deserted areas. Stay in public places. If you go out for a drink, don't drink too much. And don't leave your drink unattended. And definitely do your research on the area you're going to visit before you go. He says that's an important part of traveling safe. Ikeda also tells me that criminals often target visitors because they are less likely to report the crime and rarely prosecute because who wants to fly back to Hawaii for a trial or court? Joe?